Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? And you know, welcome back. And yeah, we're gonna be taking a look. We're gonna be looking at the Thermal Pen One today. That's this thing right here. This is called the Thermal Pen One, and, and the reason they call it One is because it supposedly can read in one second. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if it really does. We're gonna see how accurate it is. We're gonna go through and take a look at it online and see what it really costs because. This thing is kind of pricey compared to what I, I and I, I like to use this Inkbird, and I have done a review before in which uh, the bang for the buck, in my opinion, may and it may still be today, is this Thermal Pro. Um, it just for the for what you pay for it, it, it does it does the trick. Ink Pro is definitely better, and but today we're going to see is the Thermal Pen One really worth it. And we're we're going to put them all in ice water, but I, I have no doubt that this thing is. They even get a certificate of calibration, and this was done by it looks like JR, and each one's got a serial number, and uh, they're saying ambient temp seventy two plus or minus four degrees, having any humidity, and uh, the results of the temperature was uh, thirty two degrees. Instrument reading was uh, thirty two degrees. Uncertainty of calibration plus or minus 0. 0.5 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, looks like plus or minus one digit. Uh, so I mean, this is a this is, uh, this is pretty imp impressive, and I, I guess you would have to ask your question yourself a question: Do I really need something that that is well, that that really that accurate and that fast? Let's take a look at it and see what this thing costs. Yeah, there is. I couldn't find it on Amazon. I, some of the thermal pen stuff is on Amazon, but uh, I think the thermal pen one is sold out, and you can see it's a hundred and five bucks. Holy smokes, you're saying! 105 bucks. Uh, there's other options out there, isn't it? I'll tell you what, let's look at some of the other options. Let's look at the Inkbird, and um, that's an option. Let's take a look at the cost, and let's then look at the Thermal Pro cost, and then we'll put them in, in some cold water and see how they do. All right, so here's the Inkbird. I've had this one for about nine months. So like I said, this is my this is my everyday one. I, I, I just like it. I think it works very nice. Uh, let's take a look at it online, and you can see this thing right now is on sale on Amazon for 20 bucks. And uh, you don't have to even have to replace the batteries. You, you, it comes with a little charger. You get to recharge it. Uh, in fact, I'm on the same charge from when I first got it. And that may be one of the downfalls because I really don't remember where I put the cable. But uh, other than that, I, it works and it works just fine. But you know what? We're going to try it in cold water just like the Thermal Pen one. Let's, let's take a look at the Thermal Pro now. All right, and I'll leave a link to the video that I did that I chose this one over well, I, did, I had the thermal pop in there, but not the thermal pin one. And I just said for bang for the buck, this thing, this thing is it. And let's see what that's going for right now. And on Amazon, yeah, 15 bucks, 15 bucks. I, I tell you what, 100 bucks, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's take a look and see how they perform. All right, ice waters we're going to use. I've had it in there and let it, been letting it sit about 10 minutes. Thanks to Mad Horse Barbecue Brian over at Mad Horse Barbecue. Check out his channel. Barbecue Brian and Mad Horse Barbecue on YouTube. We're going to start with, yeah, the $15 Thermal Pro. Now, this one, uh, you have to press this in order to get that to come out. It does not turn on automatically. you got to press the button. And uh, I'm not going to actually time these, but you'll, you'll be able to see. You, you can count with me. One, 1,000. Two, 1,000. Three, 1,000. Four, 1,000. Five, 1,000. Six, 1,000. Seven, 1,000. So about seven, th seven seconds unofficially to get about 32 and a half. And that's definitely half degree with intolerance and that's fine. And then uh, you just flip it up like that. And then the turn off, that's 15 bucks. All right, coming in at 20 bucks as uh, you just saw the Inkbird. And let's, uh, let's try the Inkbird here. It turns on when you pull out the probe and we'll go in very unofficially, one 1,000, two 1,000. 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 8 1,000. About 8 seconds. And it's 32.8. Thermal Pro got a little closer at 32.5 and was 7 seconds. Okay, I think that's it. 20 bucks, folks. All right, 100 bucks and uh, it, it should be 1 second, right? I mean, it should be hands down turning on. I like the big dis display. And it's got a photo cell there, so it turns on the backlight, I believe. It uh, should be hands down, right? I mean, 
get you up here a little bit higher. So the minute we touch it, it should go on a thousand. Well, that wasn't exactly one second. It is saying 32 degrees. We're gonna try that again. Hang on, let's do, let's do thermal pen one, 100 bucks. And uh, let's just take it out, start it up. It, it is kind of cool that when you go like this, it does that. I mean, that's kind of cool. 100 bucks though. Let's uh, put it in the water, start counting. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. I don't know, folks. Let's try it again. All right, one more time. $100 thermal pen. Thermal pen one. One second it's supposed to do it in. Okay, we are on. Reading 72 in the water. You ready to start counting? Start counting with me. You ready? 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 Contact. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Four 1,000. Well, four seconds. I've been averaging. I've been doing it a whole bunch of times. Uh... You know, when I'm not showing you here, and it's been averaging between three and four seconds. This isn't a one second, hundred dollar miracle probe, folks. I'm sorry, it just I I don't think it is. Here's another thing. This was uh, seventeen dollars, and the reason I got it, well, number of glows in the dark, but that doesn't matter. It's got a magnet. This thing doesn't even have a magnet on it. Um, this one does. This one does. That's twenty bucks. That's fifteen bucks. That's a hundred bucks plus another 17. All right, so I got my protective cover with magnet on there. So that, that put, brings this thing up with probably tax and shipping right around 120 bucks. This thing, uh, and three to four seconds. Now let's, you're, you're, people are saying, where, where does it say that it's gonna do that? So thermal pen one will read to within one degree of actual temperature of an ice bath within one second. It's, it's right there. Reading time of other furs move. So I use an ice bath. So I, I use, I, I'm sure the whole world's gonna tell me I did this wrong and that's why it was three to four seconds. Three to four seconds for 120 bucks. This was eight seconds, 20 bucks. And once again, this was seven seconds and it's 15 bucks. What would you choose? I'll tell you what, I'll let you folks tell me. I, I like the display on this, but for 120 bucks, is it worth it? I don't know, folks. If you're asking Tom Horseman at YouTube, uh-uh. I'm gonna stick with my Inkbird and my Thermal Pro, and I actually, for some reason, like my Inkbird better than the Thermal Pro. Uh, I'm not gonna give this away or throw it away, I'm gonna use it, but uh, I, I think that uh, this is a little bit of a false advertising here when you're calling it one second, and uh, one second readings, it's right there, folks. Uh, you know, fully waterproof, that's, uh, that's, that's great, but it's not, in my opinion, one second. Leave a comment. Tom Horseman YouTube thumbs up. And as always, folks, uh, what do you think? Is uh, do you have one of these? Is it worth uh, 120 bucks for three seconds? Or maybe yours works at at one second. Or maybe you're going to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Thanks for watching, folks.